Howdy folks, Hulk Rex here, and welcome to Thoughts from the Inner Sphere, episode 76. And today we're going to be talking about the Kentaro, that Star League mech that finds itself still being used in the mostly Federated Sun, Steiner, and other assorted places, a like Kaos Karita, you know, that Draconis combined. Thanks, Star, uh, Comstar. Yeah, we like you because you gave us free stuff. Now, with now there's strings attached. Now, the Kentaro, the 55 ton mech that, well, it takes some work to use. And it takes a very, let's say, conservative pilot to make this thing work without turning it into a sauna bath, as I like to say. This is a little uh, cooker. Now, the Kentaro, 55 tons. All right, it's a 580. Doesn't have jump jets. Uh, would be nice if it had jump jets, like its other 55 ton brethren that you find out there, but it does not. It uh, has 176 points of armor. Well, that's not so bad. I think that's uh, like a ton short, half, uh, a little over half a ton short. Well, it's manageable. Now, here's where the problems lie. It's not because of lack of weapons, it's because it has lots of weapons. Now, it carries a medium laser in the right arm, an SRM-6 in the right torso, along with two tons of ammo, a medium laser in the left arm, an LRM-5 in the left arm, an SRM-6 in the left arm, a ton of ammo for the LRM in the left torso, and a SRM tonnage in the left torso and another SRM6 in the center torso. Oh, that's great. It has lots of weapons. It can be very useful. But let's go back to the top of the page here and look at why that's not a good deal. 10 heat sinks. Yes, you heard me. 10 heat sinks. For the love of Pete, why would you design a mech that has only 10 heat sinks and giving it a ton of weapons? that it can't shoot. Heck, this thing uh, fires two weapons and three weapons and it's starting to cook itself. It eventually looks like a pressure cooker. All right, let's just kind of delve into that. I like this mech, the fact of how I can use it. This thing is a crit hunter, plain and simple. But you have to go either look at the pure Star League mech or you gotta gotta look at the um, 3051. But we're not gonna be talking about that. We're talking about the 3039, which only has 10 plain old heat sink singles. What can we do? Well, I like to do use this thing. It's a let's let's say it's not gonna be riding home or dragging a lot of attention to itself because of that LRM-5. That is just something saying, yeah, I have something I can shoot you with out to 21 because I can't, you know, if I hit with you. And on average, I'm going to do three points of damage. And three points of damage in the grand scheme of things when you say there's PPCs and LRM-15s and LRM-20s, AC-10s and stuff like that out there that are going to be, hello, I am over here pounding you and tearing your armor off. That LRM-5 is not going to drag too much attention to it. So, okay, fine. Uh, you kind of use it as a heavy scout, rolling around, going into woods, cutting things off. Uh, makes a great interceptor. You got some... Uh, light mechs that are trying to flank you you can get in their face with this thing this is a brawler up close and personal you know if you look at all the weapon systems on it this is a brawler it wants to be in its opponent's face all right now if you have a mech that has been tore up has a lot of holes in its armor and that internal structure is just staring at you this guy is your friend for going crit hunting because look it, it's got all those SRMs. Uh, if I had a choice and I'm going to be f only 10 heat sinks, you know, 10, I'm going to be firing nothing but the three SRM sixes. All right. Three SRM sixes puts you at 12 heat. Let's say you walked. All right. That's 13. You're going up three in the heat scale. 
that's not a big issue for one turn but you'll have those individuals be go hey i'm up close and personal i'm gonna hit you with those two medium lasers too uh okay that's another six so okay that puts you at 18 you walk that's 19. suddenly you're nine on the heat scale all right nine in the heat scale let's just look at that uh, let's see nine in the heat scale will put you at a minus one movement and a plus one to hit modifier for the next turn so now the next turn you're going to be a five a four six mover so you're still moving okay up to six but you just gave yourself a modifier of a plus one so if you needed an eight you now need a nine so you're hurting yourself why would you do that all right and I've, I've stated this many times is that you get those individuals out there like oh, if i just fire enough a strike i hit with you, everything i'll kill him let's just put it this way i've seen a daiashi fire you know, this fast forward is it's 30 now seeing a daiashi do an alpha strike on a blackjack at gen con the blackjack is kind of like oh i'm still here oh you fired everything i'm gonna fire and it hits and takes out the daiashi with some well criticals you know chance criticals got three box cars and next thing you know no more gyro and an engine hit and the thing goes crashing itself knocks the pilot out okay fine big deal never estimate yourself being able to take a mech out alpha striking and then hurting yourself because you may suddenly find yourself oh i didn't do anything and now you got all these minuses to you know modifiers to move to hit with not good so you you're going to be having problems why do that to yourself so if you get in close just fire the srm sixes so that's three of those that's 12 heat like i said if you walk that's 13 and if you run that's 14. you can do that for one turn but here comes the problem let's say you ran and you got lucky enough you hit with those three srms and it averages what three three or four so you did some good damage and maybe got a couple crits possibly because you fired this thing last right you do all the heavy stuff that has the big guns hit those first tear the armor off then this guy's fire comes up and does the the crit hunting so now you're sitting at 14 heat all right uh you don't want to do that the next turn so you need to dissipate some heat so what are you going to do you have two choices uh you need to to only use six heat you can't fire two of your um srms that's going to put you at eight and if you run that's 10 you don't cool off all right you're still going to be at say four heat on the scale so you okay you have other choices fire two medium lasers which isn't bad that's going to be possibly 10 damage all right that's six and then if you run at eight you only come down two so now you're sitting at 12 heat you could fire the two medium lasers again and come back down to 10. all right so you see in the problem here this is a mech that has a, a very big problem of getting rid of the heat once you get into combat you're going to be wanting to fire and fire and fire with this guy and next thing you know this mech could be blowing itself up because of heat problems it's got a lot of ammo all right and if you um heat yourself up let's see what is it uh, 22 24 somewhere there before you get your first ammo yeah, you got to shut down. Yeah, ammo explosion is at oh, that's nineteen. All right. So <clears throat> I had to look because I don't go that high very often unless I'm hitting somebody with some S or infernals or something. So you you see in the con I ah, can't even say it quandary here is that you got a mech that can't get rid of that heat, so you're stuck with firing one weapon system. All right. So you can fire the three SRMs, hit them hard, get some damage done, and then the next turn you're stuck with either firing one medium laser or one SRM. 
All right, you probably go with the SRM. Be a smart thing to do, because you can probably do more damage with the SRM than you do with the medium laser. All right. So if you fire that, that puts you up in. Say you run, you're at six, so you can drop four. It puts you back at zero hate. So you can go back to next turn. So it's like one turn you can fire three medium or at three SRM sixes, and next turn you can fire one. Three, one, three, one, three, one, or a medium laser. All right. So that is what you have to do with this mech to make it work up close. But if you're far, you can fire that LRM five and run. That's not going to do anything because that's only a couple of heat there. So, <clears throat> what is something you can do with this? Let's just look at it. There's one variant that thing. Uh, say the draconians combined downgraded them some of their models and replaced uh, this is when they got them they had a narc beacon on it so they replace it with a large laser oh my god uh you're giving a mech that has a heat problem and then adding something that will cost even more heat no eh, don't want to do that the large laser would be nice but you don't need it all right it just doesn't seem to work with this mech at all. All right, so what have I done in the past? All right, well now let's get into Mercenary Commander. What are you going to do with this mech? Uh, sorry, uh, that one uh, SRM6 rack that you have that used to be a NARC beacon. That's got to go. And I'm going to take those four tons right there because it's you're going to tear out three tons for the weapon system, one ton of ammo, and then you're going to replace it with four heat sinks now you got 14 heat sinks and you have two srm sixes and two medium lasers that's 14 heat right there so the only time you're going to be heating up at all is when you walk or run so that's you can go up one heat or two and then you can fire everything you want for two straight turns and then you're going to take a turn you're probably pull out one of the uh let's say an srm6 not fire one of it or fire not fire a medium laser and you're going to cool off all right so suddenly you have a mech that was having lots of heat problems then now you convert it into something just because you got one rid of one weapon system and it now is something that will be very deadly on the battlefield and very operational and that's how i usually deal with this thing is i don't have a problem taking out one weapon system to make this thing a very good mech because this thing will as i always like to say you have mechs out there in a let's say you get a lance and you have let's say a marauder or, or a warhammer or something of that nature or even a thunderbolt that's job is, is this thing actually works pretty decent in a heavy lance so you got three heavies and this will be its scout to run with it all right this would be your fast mover to to try to be your flanker you know, all right and those other mechs they are tearing armor off so as you're closing at longer ranges you're picking on one you're gonna pick on one mech all right and they fire all their heavy weapons and they're tearing armor off tearing armor off so you're looking at probably three turns of that going on uh, before this mech really can get into range and start doing because it's trying to get around the flank and you're constantly hammering one mech now they re may realize well, it's like you do in the retrograde but if you go back into uh the archives you look back and say all right you got the retrograde thing there they may take that mech that you're hammering and they pull it back so that's what i'll probably do is, is try to pull it back and then run another mech up front to take the brunt so it's not getting tore apart oh okay they do that and then this guy this kentaro will come up and get close as you're moving up closer and closer and closer this is the last mech you're going to fire at a mech because you have those SRMs and that is going to be what you're going to use be it the non-modified version or the modified version doesn't matter is that you're going to be hunting uh, those holes looking for that 
empty armor spaces into the internal structure with those SRMs. Because if you get lucky and get a couple good rolls, hey, if you had 12 of those missiles hit, that is a lot of damage in itself. But that is 12 times you have a chance to either roll snake eyes or boxcars or hit a place that is missing armor and getting a chance of critical. All right. There's been many times where I've taken mechs out because he knocked him out by getting those head hits with just little uh, two-point shots. Or you're getting those chance criticals in the center torso, or it could be right or left torso if you're on the flank, even before the armor's off because you've got lots and lots of chances of just hammering away with this thing. All right. So that gives you a couple of ideas how to use this mech. Is that it's going to take... A lot of self-discipline when you're going to use this mech on the battlefield. So just think about that before you go out there and just start hammering away. All right. I know I've gone along with this one. This mech needs some help. But once you do a few things to it, it is a very good mech. I like using it. All right. You guys have a good one. Like and subscribe. Tell your friends about everything. And we'll see you in the next one.